Okay, hello and welcome to this PHP quick tutorial. Um, I say quick, this one will be actually fairly quick for once. So what I'm going to show you how to do here is count the number of queries in a sort of section of code, or the entire code if you like. Um, so this sort of goes along with my timing code thing, ignore that search. <laughs> um, so the way we're going to be demonstrating this and sort of showing you how to do this is using this uh, sort of example database I've just set up here. So this is a sort of users and groups system, and what we're going to do is, well, we've already created um, a page to list the users and the group that they're in. So the database here, it contains two groups, which are these two, staff and users, with the IDs one and two, and we have the users table, which contains three users that have the groups two, one, two. Okay, so I'll just go to the page now, and that's this here. So literally all it does is output the user's email address next to their group. So you can see the three groups, three users. So the reason this is called terrible.php is because this is written in a very terrible way. So I'll just show you that now. So this is the code. And what you can see is happening here is uh, we're connecting to the database. And we are then getting a query. Well, we're running a query to get all of the user's email addresses, which is this bit here, and their group ID from the user's table. Then we're looping over that query result. So for every row, we're running this bit of code here. Inside this loop, we're running another query, which gets the group name from the groups table based on the group ID, which is this bit here. And then we're just outputting that result to the browser window. So username, then a dash, then the group name. If I can learn to highlight group name, then just a new line. Okay, so the reason we are actually concerned about this is because running a query is actually one of the slower things that uh, PHP can do. Um, obviously, it does depend on your setup. Um, usually, the database server is on the same server that your script runs. Um, in that case, it's a little bit quicker, but still not particularly fast. So, when you're like trying to optimize your code, generally reducing, reducing the number of queries is quite a good thing to do. So, that's what we're going to do here. So. The reason we are actually creating code to count the queries is because, I mean, in this example, it's fairly straightforward. Um, I mean, it might appear that there are two immediately because there are two SQL lines, but there actually are four queries running here because we have the one to get all of the three users, and then for each user, three users, um, there is another query to get their group. Um, so four in total. Um, so, like, like I said, this is a fairly simple example, but some, in some cases, you might be looking at sort of a huge few hundred lines of code and that may not be immediately obvious how many queries are running okay so what we're going to do is create some code like I said to work out the total number of queries in this block here so from sort of now on you can think of this highlighted section as sort of my representation of whatever code you're meant to be debugging so the way this works is just above here so here without that J we are going to get the total number of queries that the server has sort of ever run since it started up. Uh, and then we're going to do the same here. Um, and then we're just going to subtract the first value from the second value. And that will give us the number of queries run in this block here. Okay, so to get the number of queries, we're going to use the MySQL session variables. Um, and these are something that's sort of part of the server, if you like. Uh, and you can actually see all of them if you want. So if you just go to um, your PHP my admin thing, uh, thing, install whatever, and click SQL, and you can just do show session. Um, I'll have to just ch just check uh, status, not variables. Show session status, like so, and you run this query, and it'll list a whole heap of information. Um, so you know, it'll not particularly not a huge amount of this is that interesting, in fact a lot of it is zero. Uh, but if you just scroll all the way down and be on the lookout for questions, which is here, this number here is the total number of queries that the server has run since it started. Um, so if I just go to um, our code now, we can create some SQL to get this number. Uh, that's not our code, and this is. So here, we're going to run a MySQL query and we're going to run show session status and to get just the queries line sorry not the queries line the questions line we use like and then questions in quotes 
like so. And obviously you can see that the quotes have sort of messed up a bit there, so I'll just replace those with double quotes. And let me just check to make sure it was, yep, questions like that. So now if I actually just run this SQL in PHP at my admin, you should see that we just get the um, that that number, the questions number. So let's do that. And there you go. We just get this one row of that sort of semi table, I guess you can think of you can think of it as a table. They work like tables in pretty much every other way. Okay, so that's that. So now we need a way to actually extract this number and get it into a variable. So let's just go back to our uh, code. Nope, that's not our code still. So here what we can do is wrap this result in the MySQL result function. And we want to get the first row, which is zero and we want the values column from that row because as well as the values column we also have the variable column or variable name column but we only want the value column so we have to specify that there like so so now if we just for example do echo that and go back to our browser we can hit reload here and you can see that we have this big number here and if I reload that you can see that this number is increasing every time I do it basically so what we want to do is get the amount that this number increases by during this output. So what I'm going to do is store the initial value of this in a variable. So let's call it total queries initial and set that equal to that. Uh, let's not call it initial because I can't spell that. Let's call it total queries start. Okay. Um, probably worth pointing out at this point uh, that as well as questions there is also queries like so however that may not actually exist on your server um, there is a very slight difference between questions and queries queries counts some things that questions doesn't um, essentially questions is more representative of things like select insert update that kind of you know, proper query um, and queries will count things like pings and silly little things that sort of PHP does back end only um, maybe not even ever to be honest um, I'm not really sure but well whatever so you should probably check uh, I would go with questions if it's available if not try queries um, if that's not available then I don't know look in the documentation one of those will definitely be available anyway in that space so once we've got the total number of queries at this point we need to do the same again down here so I'm just going to copy this paste it here and call this end so now if I just do the simple subtraction, so if I do echo, uh, actually let's just do a few new lines first, I'll do new line, new line, and then we'll do, uh, let's see, well actually let's create some new variables, so let's just here we'll do total queries, and this can be equal to total queries end minus start, so total queries start, and then here we'll use that so total queries okay so then we'll just reload our page and see what that gives us it gives us an error because I have got spelled total wrong uh, where's that here total total let's try that again and see now we get five however there aren't actually five queries running here um, although it's a consistent five which is encouraging but if we just look at our code, we can work out why that's happened. So this question's sort of key um, counts every single query. So that will actually include this. Um, so we essentially the only way around this is just to subtract one. Um, and probably the way the best way to work this out is if you just do a simple query, like if you just delete that bit. So you're running one query in between both of these. And if we reload the page, you can see that it says two. So that's not two, that's very, very obviously one. So we can just take one away from this here. And that'll now yield one. Simple. So I'll just have to put that back by undoing that. And then we'll have to put our minus one back. Okay, and if I just now reload this again, you can see that we have four. So just to demonstrate the reason why this is a terrible idea, by the way, um, so why looping a query is bad, because this is no, this is the number of queries here will actually depend on the number of users. So if I just add another user to our table, so I'll go to phpMyAdmin and the users table, and we'll just insert 
um, interst. I don't know what that is. Internet at Google. They might sue me, but well, whatever. And they can be a standard user, and their password can just be blank. And if I just now go back to our table and hit reload, you can see that's gone up to five because we've added another user, and their thing has appeared. So essentially, the reason this is a terrible idea is because the uh, number of queries depends on the users. So assuming your site becomes massively popular, you'll be running tens of thousands of queries to process this list. So that's obviously a terrible idea when you can actually do it in one query. But that's not really the point of this. The point of this was to show you how to count the number of queries in a block of code. So essentially to do that, you put this above the block of code and this below it. Seems simple, right? So yeah, that is basically that. So thank you for watching and hopefully this was somewhat useful.